Education is planning to reveal the brand new mascots for both of the town's high schools. Now, earlier this year, the board voted to change the names of the Hall Warriors and Connor Chieftains. But tonight, a last second lawsuit is looking to stop a name change from happening. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Aaron Edwards is live right now in West Hartford with more on how this lawsuit could potentially impact the name change. Aaron. Yeah, Aaron and Mark, well, the board just released a statement to us in the last few hours saying that this lawsuit will not stop them from moving forward with the name change. It reads in part, quote, attorneys with alleged procedural grievances are without merit. The decision was properly adopted by the board, and it is consistent with local, state, and federal policies concerning equity and diversity. Now, despite attorneys Wiggs' claims to the contrary, there is no court order barring the school district from moving forward with the name changes. Now, in the lawsuit, a group calling themselves Hall Paul Connard United says their anger is about history and money. They're asking the board to hold off renaming the schools. They claim it would cost $97,000 to replace team names and imagery. The board, though, has said it'll only cost $30,000. Now, back in February, the West Hartford board voted to change the names of the Connor Chieftains and Hall Warriors. Students voted on new mascot nicknames last month. Now, the school board plans to announce those new names tonight at their meeting that starts at 7 o'clock. Reporting live in West Hartford, Aaron Edwards, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.